Put your trust in the scientific method. Put your faith in the scientific method. I have enough faith in the scientific method. You know, when in 2000 the genome was decoded, it was discovered that only 2% of the genome actually codes for proteins, and as you know, the other 98% was dismissed as junk, junk DNA. Um, last week, six days ago, the result of 1,600 experiments by 450 scientists in 32 different institutions discovered that actually that 98% that people thought was junk isn't junk at all. It's absolutely essential for the maintenance of life. Fascinating fact that the chief rabbi has, the, evi the evidence he's given, that um, whereas we thought that only a minority of the, the genome was doing something, namely that minority which actually codes for protein, um, uh, and, and now we find that, that actually the majority of it's doing something. What it's doing is calling into, into action the protein coding genes. So you can think of the protein coding genes as being the sort of toolbox of subroutines, which is pretty much common to all mammals. I mean, all mice and men have the same number, roughly speaking, of protein coding genes, and that's always been a, a bit of a blow to the self-esteem of humanity. <laughs> but what the point is, that that was just the subroutines that are called into being. The program that's calling them into action is, is, the, is the, the rest which had previously been written off as junk. I have noticed that there are some creationists who are jumping on it because they think that's awkward for Darwinism. Um, quite the contrary, of course, it's exactly what a Darwinist would hope for. What you just said is one of the most insanely idiotic things I have ever heard. If you take genes that are no longer functional, that are just vestigial, they're not doing anything. And even pseudogenes that don't do anything but are vestigial relics of genes that once, that once did something. At no point in your rambling, incoherent response were you even close to anything that could be considered a rational thought. Now, this is massive, massive, massive quantities of evidence left lying around the earth in every species of creature that's ever been looked at is carrying around massive quantities of evidence in the DNA. It's like fragments of a document on your hard disk which are no longer being used. They're no, no longer on the directory, so you no longer see them. Everyone in this room is now dumber for having listened to it. Creationists who are jumping on it because they think that's awkward for Darwinism is the traces, the remains, you see the, uh, the consequences of the evolutionary process. And you find that it forms a perfect branching hierarchy. It's a tree. And what else could that tree be but a family tree? You find that they form a perfect hierarchical pattern. It's a family tree. And plot out the resemblances and they fall on a perfect hierarchy, a perfect family tree creationists who are jumping on it because they think that's awkward for Darwinism. Even pseudogenes that don't do anything, that are just vestigial, they're not doing anything. Vestigial relics. You get the same family tree. Because they think that's awkward for Darwinism. I award you no points, and may God have mercy on your soul. Uh, there's got to be a series of advantages all the way in, in the feather. If you can't think of one, then that's your problem, not uh, not natural selection's problem, natural selection, um, uh, well, I suppose that is a sort of matter of faith on my, on my mm. part, since the theory is so coherent. Why is that funny? Because evolution is yeah. just a fact. I know, yeah, until you actually go out and, and, that's why when and the get atheists... your PhD and replicate the work, and then it's not just a claim anymore. Because evolution is yeah. just a fact. If you now... don't have the f rocks to go get your PhD yeah. and actually do the work, then shut up. Because evolution is yeah. just a fact creationists who are jumping on it because they think that's awkward for Darwinism. Even pseudogenes that don't do anything, that are just vestigial, they're not doing anything. Vestigial relics. You get the same family tree. Because they think that's awkward for Darwinism. Why is that funny? Those damn scientists, they don't know what they're doing. Science, ooh, la di da Shut up. Matter of faith. Shut up. Why is that funny? Face 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 Face. Shut up. Matter of faith. Shut up. Why is that funny?
shut up. Shut up.